all this filament, an empty printer. Let's print what you want. It's Filament Friday. This week's project came to me through email. It was suggested to print this iPhone charging block cord wrap by Thingiverse user Micro3D. The idea is that this slips over the top of your iPhone charger and then you can wrap your cord around it. The timing of this was perfect. I wanted some of these for my chargers because I'm going to be taking a trip soon. And I wanted to print off several in different colors and give one to each person in the family. That way there's no arguing over whose charger is who. I loaded the .stl file into my XYZWare software. I set it to 0.2 millimeter layer height and a 20% fill. I also used supports. So then I sent it to my DaVinci 1.0 printer. Okay, so the print is done. And it's interesting, I forgot to put down some glue. I kind of rushed to get this one in, and I got some lifting in the front. Just shows you need to have that little bit of glue on there to hold it. So I don't know if, ooh, it slid right off though. That is really nice. There's like no stick to that at all. I got lucky. <laughs> That's, this thing barely stuck. Um, looks pretty good. There's some support here that barely stuck and definitely in front but the lines that it was supporting look pretty good. And then this is supposed to go around my phone charger. And Oh crap. It doesn't fit. I mean, it doesn't even feel like it's close. Wow. That's really disappointing because I needed this for a trip. Mm. Well, I can get it in at an angle like that. Boy, that's so far off. I've got some grinding to do. What I could probably do is import the file and then adjust the size. Like, try to adjust it 10%. Because you don't want it too loose. Man. Well, they don't always work out, do they? It printed nice. I mean, if I, let me break off this support. At least we got that going for it. I just, man, why would you put something on Thingiverse that didn't fit? Unless it's somehow got shrunk by the XYZ wear, which I guess could happen. Man, that's disappointing. I was going to print a whole bunch of these in different colors, so we each have one. Now i got to figure out the size. Just using a, probably should have kept that in view. I'm just using the pliers here to get in there and break out the support. This was a real easy one. It's just like two rows of material. And I'm just going to slide in the pliers, grab it, and pull. Does a pretty good job. And there's definitely some strings in there to clean up but this is supposed to go in there and then the cable wraps around so let's get that out of effect let's just take that off this is supposed to go in there this goes in a slot and then you wrap it around which is pretty cool well, these walls aren't tall enough And then this is supposed to clip in there, but you can't get to it because the 
the cable took up all the spot. Well, overall, this is a piece of, I mean, it's a nice print and all, but if you're going to put it on Thingiverse, make sure the damn thing works. So, it's a fail. You can't win, all, can't win them all. Oh, well. If you like this show, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you guys know of a good holder to go around one of these chargers and holds the cable so I can pack that up and put it in a suitcase, let me know because I couldn't find a better one on Thingiverse. But I think I'm going to design my own. See you next time. Damn.